Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2023.4 that is the latest version on VirtualBox in Windows. Go to Kali official website that is Kali.org. See, Kali is an open source Debian based Linux distribution geared towards various information security tasks such as pen testing, security research, computer forensics and reverse engineering then click on download or get kali both are same see here scroll down see the latest version at the time of making this video is 2023.4 if you want to previous releases you have to click on kali linux releases okay you have 64 bit 34 bit api silicon arm okay so select 64 bit and click on this download button if you want to download by using torrent you have to click on torrent okay click on normal download by clicking on this download button click on it right here you will find the download see download has been started go to downloads see it's a size is 3.9 gigabytes i'm cancelling this download because i have already downloaded the kali links 2023.4 in your case wait until download completes cancel it now open Oracle VM virtual box. Virtual box. If you want installed Oracle VM virtual box on your PC, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. See, these are the list of the virtual machines. If you want to create new virtual machine, click on tools, then machine, then select new. Otherwise, just click on this new. Both are the same. Okay. Click on new. Then here provide the name for Kali Linux 2023.4. Give the name for the virtual machine. And this is the location for the files and folders of virtual machine. Click on drop down and choose other. Then select the path. Select the folder, then ISO image. How to select the downloaded ISO image? Click on drop down, then choose other, then select the downloaded ISO image. Click on open. See, once you selected, type is Linux and version is Ubuntu 64 bit. Okay, then click on next. Here we have to provide the virtual machine hardware size. I am giving 4 gigabytes. And number of CPUs by default it has selected one. If you want, you can change. I am giving two, then click on next. And this is the virtual hard disk size. Here I am giving 50 gigabytes. You give based on the your availability. Then click on next. See, this is the summary of the Kali Linux virtual machine. If you want to edit any one of them, you can click on back, then edit. Otherwise, click on finish. Now, again, if you want to edit any one of these settings, they just select the virtual machine from the left menu then click on settings or right click and select the settings both are same okay now right click and click on start then select the normal start or just click on start both options are same click on start use up and down arrows and select the type of installation okay select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter select the language and click on continue i am going with the default one that is english then click on continue select the location i am going with again united states then click on continue keyboard also i am going with same american english and click on continue here we have to provide the name for the Kali Linux Kali Linux 
machine. So default it has selected Kali rings, but we can change it. I am giving eh Kali. We can also change this host name after after Kali Linux installation also. Click on continue. Domain name. I don't have any domain name. If you have domain name, provide here. Otherwise, click on continue. Here we have to set up the user and password. I am giving username as R2 school. Click on continue. See, this is user full name. Okay. Then next continue. And this is the username. If you want to give username other than the full name, we can change. See, we can remove and we can remove. Okay. I am giving same. Then click on continue. Provide the password for this user. Click on continue. Select the time zone. Click on Eastern. Okay. I am going with the default one. Then click on continue. Here partition is I am going with guided use entire disk. Click on continue. Click on continue. You see if you want separate drives, you can separate disk. You can select any one of these options. I am going with the first one. Click on continue. Select the finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Then click on continue. Click on S. Then click on continue. See now started installing the base system Choose the software to install. Select Genome, KD Plasma, whatever you want, you can select. Default, it has selected desktop environment. Then click on continue. See, now it is copying this many files. Select the default display manager. I am going with GDM3. If you want to change any one of them, just click on them. Then click on continue. I am going with GDM3. Then click on continue. To install grub bootloader, select yes and click on continue. <coughs> select the device for bootloader installation, then click on continue. See, installation has been completed. We have to click on continue to reboot. Click on this user, then provide the password which we have given. Click on this maximize screen. See, we have successfully installed Kali Linux 2023.4 on. Let's open terminal and verify the version. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed. Kali Linux and its version is 2023.4. This is the host name. We can also get the host name. Host name. This can be changed. Okay. If you want to verify the IP of this machine? IF config. 
see this is the IP okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2023.4 version on VirtualBox for more Kali Linux or hacking or cyber security videos please subscribe my channel thank you